Hey everybody, um, don't have a finds video this week, but I figured I'd post a video of kind of some of my favorite games in my collection. Um, some of these are pretty common stuff, but uh, here they are. I'll start out with uh, NES. Um, Zelda, probably one of my top five games of all time. Uh, as you can see, my copy has a nice name written across it. Not in the greatest shape, but uh, definitely a great game. One of my favorites, like I said. Uh, battery is unfortunately dead in this one, so there's no saving until I can get it replaced. Uh, next, the other NES game I decided to show off, Mega Man 2. Everybody knows this is a classic. It's a great game. Just, no, I can't really say much more about it. It's just a great game. You all know that. Alright, next we'll go to uh, Super NES. Um, another Zelda game, Link to the Past. This is my favorite game of all time. I've probably played it a hundred times, beaten it a hundred times. Great game. If you don't have this uh, and you're collecting SNES, I don't know what's wrong with you. Chrono Trigger. Obviously a rare game to find. Um, got this at a yard sale last year, I think. Only paid two bucks. It was like the best deal I've ever found, obviously. Um, great game. Probably my top ten of all time. And pretty great part of my collection. Label's a little wacky on it, but still great find for me last year. And uh, my second favorite game of all time, Final Fantasy II, SNES, of course, Final Fantasy IV in Japan, but they didn't bring it over here and call it two for some reason, but great game, great story, everybody says Final Fantasy III is better, I don't know, I've never played through Final Fantasy III, so this is my favorite for now. Alright, we'll move over to uh, Nintendo 64, only one I chose for it, Ocarina of Time. One of my top five games of all time also. also. So, you know, you got like Link to the Past, the original Lo Legend of Zelda, and Ocarina of Time in my top five of all time. So, there's that one. Original Gold Cart, bought this when it first came out way back. Alright, next we go to Genesis. Shadow Run. Absolutely one of the greatest games you'll get on Genesis. They made a Super Nintendo version, I prefer the Genesis version. But uh, this is a great game. Still got the hang tag manual, which is weird because it's a black and white manual, but a uh, great game. Check it out if you haven't ever played it. Alright, next we'll go to uh, PS1. Uh, pick some from PS1, Final Fantasy 7, classic. If you don't have it, haven't played it, definitely need to check it out. Maybe it'll get a HD remake sooner or later, I really don't care if it does or not. It's great this way. Resident Evil 2, it's a great game. Um, I like the first one also, I just decided to go with two as one of my favorites. It's a great game, two different scenarios, you got to play through both scenarios for sure. Um, great story, great gameplay, one of the best games to ever come out on PS1. Metal Gear Solid, same story with that one, one of the best games you'll ever play on PS1. Started the Metal Gear Solid franchise, it's a great, great game. And lastly, it's a game called Overblood. Unfortunately, I'm missing the manual for this one. I bought it this way. Uh, this is probably going to be considered a bad game, but uh, this Game Informer crew did a super replay on this game, and I had already played it, and that super replay is hilarious. So if you get a chance to check it out, you got to check it out. It's a horrible game, but it's got a lot of charm to it. Alright, next we'll go over to some more Nintendo stuff. Uh, GameCube. Eternal Darkness. This is an insane game, but it's actually pretty great, and it's probably one of the better looking GameCube games you'll find. Um, they were trying to get a sequel made to it, but some stuff happened. It doesn't look like it's going to happen, but check this one out if you haven't. It's a great little survival horror, kind of like freak you out game. Definitely check it out. Uh, a couple of Wii games I thought I'd show. Mad World and Zack and Wiki. I don't think you could get much farther apart than these two. This is a mature game. This is a game that's E for everyone. Uh, Zack and Wiki is a puzzle game. It's a really great game. A lot of people never played it, but it's it's really fun. It, it looks kitty, but it's actually a pretty complicated game. Mad World, on the other hand, is basically just a hack and slash type game. You're part of a crazy game show where you pretty much have to inflict the most gore you can. But the interesting thing about this is it's in black and white, and all the blood effects are in red, of course. Very cool game. Definitely should check this one out. Alright, and the last few games are... Uh, PlayStation, Xbox, and then a couple of newer games. Uh, Jack and Daxter, one of my favorite series. I think it's probably my favorite PlayStation series of all time. This is the original one. I thought this one was the most fun. It's kind of a collect-a-thon. Very cool game. 
check this one out if you've never played it. You'll like it. There's also an HD collection out on PS3 that you can get, and I think it's on Vita too. Uh, Elder Scrolls, Morrowind. I prefer this one over Oblivion and Skyrim. This is just, this is just massive for the time. I mean, the map is huge. It's, it's ridiculous how awesome this game can be. And you can pretty much do anything you want from the start of the game, which is kind of cool, although it wouldn't be the best idea. Uh, great, great game. I invested probably 100, 150 hours into this game. Beyond Good and Evil. Uh, this one came out on a lot of platforms. It's been re-released in an HD remake on uh, Xbox Live and PlayStation Network, I believe. Uh, very cool game. Didn't sell well, unfortunately, but it looks like a sequel is going to get made sooner or later. Check this one out if you haven't. It's got a very cool camera angle to it. Uh, for the DS, Hotel Dusk, Room 215. Uh, kind of a cool game. You play it like a novel. You hold your DS sideways and play it. Um, Kind of a little mystery game. It's not particularly difficult, but there's some stuff that's pretty cool in here. Uh, kind of a noir thriller type thing. And lastly, uh, PlayStation 3 game, actually. This is the Journey Collector's Edition. It comes with a couple extra games, but Journey was probably my favorite game of last year. If you haven't checked out Journey, definitely do. And you have to play it while online, because it kind of gives you a little surprise. And if you haven't heard, heard about the surprise yet, obviously you should play it. But even if you have, you should play it anyway. Great game. All right, well, that's some of my favorite games in my collection. Just to throw that out there since I didn't have a fines video this weekend. Have a good one.